Say that again? Harper Collins is definitely interested in publishing your memoir about life in harmony. Oh, Timmy forever! Timmy, is it true that the memoir reveals secrets about small town life? Secrets about the average citizens, but also secrets about the legendary Crane family? Oh, yes. Harmony may look quaint from the outside, but underneath, full of sex, murder, scandal, oh, and so much more. Wow, Timmy, this is really exciting me. This book sounds like it's destined to be a bestseller. I even think that your tell-all could be made into a mini-series or a TV show. On NBC! They're not afraid to take chances with something new and different. Boy, Timmy, I like the way you think. We at HarperCollins are really looking forward to working with you. Ditto that. We'll be calling you soon, Timmy. Great! Oh, but if an old woman answers, don't mention anything about the memoirs. Ciao. Tell the kill to me. She knew he was pitching the memoirs. Anger, upset, confusion. I wonder what's going on in there. for certain. Our scheming Kay is in the hot seat. Well, did you find Tiffany's phone number? I tried. Honestly, I really did. I knew it! The whole thing was a lie! Now, Kay, I want the truth. Now, did you really hear that Chad got a girl named Tiffany pregnant and abandoned her? She couldn't, because it never happened! Okay, I just want to know one thing. What did I ever do to you to deserve all this? You said we had a deal, Hackett, but now do something. I have never been more disappointed in you. You are in serious trouble, young lady. <clears throat> Hello? Oh, yes, she is, but it really isn't a good... Who did you say this is? Hold on. It's Tiffany. She wants to talk to you. Our first kiss at the end of our first date. Yes. And I hope there'll be many more. So, aren't you gonna invite me inside? Oh, I, I'd love to. But... Don't tell me, Luis. Look, I'm tired of hiding my relationship with you. You know, now that we're dating, we don't need to sneak around. It's not like we're doing anything wrong. I know, just no matter how it comes out, Luis will think we are. No, not if I don't shove it in his face. You know, if I break it to him very gently, let him know that I care about you and, and that I respect you. I mean, he might not see me as a bad guy. Think you can? If I could change my mind about him, why wouldn't he change his mind about me? Well, I didn't know you had changed your mind. I mean, when the two women I respect most in the whole world think so much of Luis, I mean, it's obvious to me that I wasn't giving him a fair shake. I'll never be able to thank him enough for saving my aunt's life. I don't care what Luis says. Guarding Sheridan's life has been more than just an assignment to him. I can't imagine what it's like to think that you could lose the person you love at any moment. Hey, Teresa, look, don't even think about that. Nothing's going to happen to you or me. And the word is that the threat against Sheridan is finally over. It's going to be a whole new beginning for all of us. Sheridan! Sheridan! I would hold the hand of the one who could leave.
fading to places And kiss the lips of the one who could sing so sweet And I would fly on the wings of the bird I knew could take me high as breathe in, breathe out You keep me alive You are the fire burning inside of me You are my passion for life Okay, Tiffany wants to talk to you You said she didn't exist, Chad. She don't. Yeah, right. Yo, 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 what the hell is going on here? Good question. I'm not sure even Kay knows the answer. So there is a Tiffany after all. I knew I was right in asking the girls to stay away from Chad. <clears throat> well, I'll have to talk to Tiffany and find out who and where she is. If what Kay says is true, that Chad got an underage girl pregnant, I'm gonna have to arrest him for statutory rape. I don't care who's on the phone. I'll never believe Chad did what Kay said. That's not who he is. Hello? Hi, Kay, it's Tiffany. I can't believe you called, Tiffany. Um, how are you? I'm fine for a 300-year-old woman. <laughs> Told you I'd help you, Kay. <laughs> now everybody's going to believe you that Tiffany really exists. <laughs> Suckers! Yo, give me the phone. I want to talk to this Tiffany or whoever she is. Clear the air right now. The first time you kill is always the worst. It's the first and last time. It's never happening again. Never say never, mon ami. I watched you in action. Sheridan looks straight at you, crying, pleading for her life. Shut up, okay? I didn't think you had the guts to do it, but you did. You looked right at her and shot her, even when she begged you not to. I said shut up. Then, as she reached for the phone in a vain attempt to say goodbye to her lover, Luis, you shot her again. Incroyable. You are an excellent killer. Damn you! I didn't want to kill her. You made me kill her. But you did. You killed Sheridan Crane. Murdered her in cold blood. Sheridan. Sheridan. Sheridan, you gotta wake up. It's me. It's, it's Louise. Sheridan, come on. I came back for you. you you got to come back for me. Sheridan. Sheridan. I don't know why I insisted on coming back here, Luis. There's no reason to think that I... Oh, my God. What happened? Sharon's been shot. Call an ambulance. You gotta save her. Do you hear me? I said call an ambulance. It's too late, Luis. She's dead. No. Yo, I want to talk to this Tiffany and find out what's going on here. You sold me your soul just in time, Kay. Now everyone thinks there's a Tiffany. <laughs> what's doing, Princess? I'm not sure, Timmy, but from what I can gather, Kay has lied about Chad getting some girl pregnant. Kay lied about F-E-X-Y-E-S. Timmy wants to hear more. So do I. I thought for a moment Kay had dodged the proverbial bullet, but now, judging from the look on her face, I'm not so sure. I think Tiffany should be on speakerphone so we all can hear what she has to say. Well, that's fine by me. Excuse me. Yo, Tiffany. This is Chad. Now remember me, Chad. You told me you loved me. Say what? 
that I meant something to you. That's why I let you be with me. Yo, you must be tripping, all right? Because I ain't never been with no girl named Tiffany. How could you do what you did then leave me? <laughs> okay, that is it. I want Chad out of our garage apartment. I don't care if he has to sleep on the street. I don't want him around my daughters. No, I didn't leave you. I never even met you. You knew me long enough to get me pregnant. Then when I told you I was having your baby, instead of being happy and supportive, you turned your back on me. Yo, look, you, you tripping big time because I ain't do none of what you said I did. Now that I lost our baby, you act like you don't even know me. Yo, who's acting? I don't know you. That's a guy's honest truth. I can't believe what you have done to this girl, Chad. Chad, if that girl's pregnant and she's underage, you're going to jail. Chief Bennett, please, you can't arrest him. I know that Chad didn't do anything wrong. I agree with Simone. I mean, just because some girl accuses him of getting her pregnant is, is really not a reason to ruin his life. What about Tiffany? What about how Chad ruined her life? Do you mind if we sit out here for a while? I don't want to leave just yet. Well, I don't want you to go either. Perfect. Just like you. Look, look, shooting star. Let's make a wish. What'd you wish for? If I tell you, it won't come true. Do you want to know what I wish for? Only if you want to tell me. This date goes on forever. That's such a great time, Teresa. I never want it to end. Sheridan is not dead. <laughs> Would you call the damn ambulance before it's too late? She doesn't have a pulse, Louise. Ambulance, so I try and revive her. is a lie. That is a straight up lie. That's a lie. Just what do you think you're doing? Um, Timmy's taking notes. But what? The book Timmy's writing. Timmy's decided to be a best-selling author. Oh, you have, have you? Timmy and Tabby need money. Once his book comes out, Timmy and Tabby will be rolling in it. Hmm. We'll be rolling in something, all right. Oh, all right, lad. Knock yourself out. Write your book. But just make sure that you don't steal a word from the memoir that I wrote. Jimmy promises he won't steal a word. Good. Because if my memoir got published, it would wreak havoc in harmony. And I'm talking total disaster. Total disaster? Uh -oh. Look, I want to see you, Tiffany. All right, I just want to clear this up face to face. No, Chad, I don't ever want to see you again. It would hurt too much. Tiffany. Tiffany, this is Police Chief Bennett. Now, I think you should come back to Harmony so we can talk about what happened. <laughs> no, I just want to forget I ever met Chad Johnson. Yo, you just say Chad Johnson? Uh-huh. 
Yeah, well, this is Chad Harris from the Book Cafe. Oh, my Chad is Chad Johnson. We went to school together. Uh, Tiffany, I, I thought you told me that Chad Harris got you pregnant. No, Kay, you must have misunderstood. Chad Johnson got me pregnant, then dumped me. I don't even know a Chad Harris. <laughs> Teresa, I meant what I said earlier. I want to tell Luis that I'm in love with you. Well, I hope Luis will be understanding now that he and Sheridan are close again. Well, I think he will be, especially if Sheridan's there to work on him. Luis would do anything for Sheridan. I mean, that's how much he cares about her. Right, and there shouldn't be any more bad blood between our families. I'm going to do everything in my power to reconcile with Luis and really impress upon him how grateful I am for protecting Sheridan's life, even though Sheridan didn't want him to. You really love her aunt so much. Yes, I do. And Sheridan is is very special to me. You know, she's more like a sister than my aunt. I don't know what I would have done if anything would have happened to her, but, but thanks to Luis, nothing did. And Sheridan's safe and sound. <sighs> Here is all the incriminating information Roger and I have on you. you giving it to me? Since you did as we asked and killed Sheridan, we have no need to give it to your brother, the police chief. It is yours to do as you wish. I wish I'd stood up to Roger. I wish he'd just give my damn dossier to my brother Sam like he threatened to. I'd be up the creek, but at least Sheridan would still be alive. Damn. God, I just wish I could take that killing her. It's too late for that. What is done, is done. Au revoir, mon ami. I am going back to Paris. With Sheridan dead, Roger and I are free to deal in narcotics again. If you ever want to work as a hitman, give us a call, eh? A hitman? My God, that's what I am, aren't I? I gotta get out of here. You're not going anywhere, at least for a while. You need to stay here and answer questions. Confuse the investigation into Sheridan's murder. Well, I, I don't know what to tell him. I was supposed to be Gardner. I'm sure you'll think of something. But if you leave town now, you'll become a suspect. They will find you and arrest you. You'll be completely on your own. You're going to get me out to dry? All I'm saying is you must play out your role in Sheridan's murder carefully. If you don't, the information in your dossier will go pale in comparison to what you have done. Everyone will know you're a killer, including your friend Luis. Imagine what he would do to you, finding you murdered the woman he loved. Sharon, you gotta fight. Sharon, you gotta fight to hold on. Please. Please, Sharon, don't leave me. Please don't leave me. Please. Stop. Sheridan is dead. She's just weak from all the blood she's lost. She has no pulse and she's not breathing. You've got to let go, Louise. Sheridan is dead. Would you stop saying that? Look, we've got to try. We have to. Sharon. Come on, Sheridan, just hold on. Hold on till the ambulance gets here. Where's that damn ambulance? It's taking so long. I don't know, but I'll keep trying. We need the police too, Louis. We've got to treat this as a crime scene. Let me see what I can do, okay? You call for help. Sure. Make the call, Louis. Do it now. Yeah, this is Officer Lopez Fitzgerald. 
There's been a shooting at the Crane Estate, and we need an ambulance and backup right now. The victims are Sharon Crane. Anything? It's no use, Louise. Sheridan's dead. What are you smiling about? I was just thinking that if Louise and Sheridan end up together, we could have a double wedding. <laughs> I'm doing it again. I'm, I'm going too far, putting you on the spot. No, no, Teresa, it's fine. You're just being honest about your feelings. It's one of the things I love about you. And to tell you the truth, I've been thinking about it too. Getting married, I mean. Really? Well, I, I know I want to marry you or Gwen, but situation so complicated. Totally. I just hope that you and Gwen don't get so fed up and decide that you don't want anything more to do with me. Ethan, I will always want to be with you. I love you so much. I love you too, Teresa. Tiffany, I'm really sorry about the mix-up. I can't believe that I got Chad Johnson confused with Chad Harris. Sometimes it's so loud in the book cafe, it's hard to hear. Not sure how, but Kay got herself out of quite a pickle just now. If Timmy didn't know better, he'd think Tabitha helped her. But Tabitha couldn't have. She doesn't have her powers back. No, I don't. But you're right, lad. He couldn't have done it on him. Sulfur. Sulfur, the smell of evil. Something's happening, Timmy, and I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Tiffany, this is Kay's mother. I hope you're all right. Thanks, Mrs. Bennett. I will be. I just need time to get over what Chad Johnson did to me. Tiffany, this is Chief Bennett again. Uh, could you leave us your phone number? We'd really like to help you. Thanks, but I'll be okay. Bye, Kay. I'll be in touch soon. <laughs> See, I knew there had to be some kind of explanation. Because I would never do what this other Chad did. Because I ain't that kind of guy. Chad, we all owe you an apology. I mean, we all were wrong to jump to conclusions without hearing the whole story. You know, it's not the first time somebody's judged me wrong. Excuse me. We owe Chad an apology. I know I certainly do. Excuse me, TC. You need to come with me right now. Why? What is it? Brace yourself for this one. Sharon Crane's just been murdered. Oh my God. I just got an emergency call. I have to leave with Eve. What happened? I'll call you later. Let's go. Sheridan Crane murdered? How is that possible? No, but we're gonna find out. Oh, Luis will be devastated. Oh. The victim's down there. She's been sought at least twice. How long did this happen? We don't know. Sir, you, you gotta do something. Sir, we will. Please move back, all right? We're gonna do the best we can. Just I've been giving her mouth to mouth. Give him room to work, Come on, okay. step back. Step back. He's a full arrest. Sure, you have to do something, all right? All They're right. doing Guys. everything they can. Louise. Sheridan. <sighs> now. She's flatlined. Give her a milligram of that. You can't leave me, Sheridan, not now. 
We have so much to look forward to. So much. Epi's on. She's still flat right. Give her a milligram of atropine, right? It's on. Peace. Still that way. What are you guys doing? Why, why do you stop? What are you doing? Everything we can. Nothing else we can do. We well, gotta do something, man. You gotta save her. Louise. 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 You gotta face facts. Sheridan is gone. She's gone. Sheridan is dead. No. As I wish I could stay out here with you all night, I have to go. Uh, I want to stop by Sheridan's cottage, start mending fences with Louise. I don't envy you, Ethan, but I trust you to handle telling Louise about us. I want the sh with Sheridan there to remind him that Cranes and Lopez Fitzgeralds do fall in love. Who knows? Louise might surprise us and accept our being together. I know you do. I'll be counting the minutes till our next date. Me too, Teresa. Until then, I will keep you in my heart. And I will keep you in mine too. Call you in the morning. You're here. The paramedics said they couldn't do anything, but I know you can. You can help her. You. Are you sure? There's nothing we could do. She was already. You're a doctor. You, you can save her. Please. Oh, I'll take a look at her. Every cop has his breaking point. This could be Luis's. Yeah. Miss Graham was dead when we got here, and he won't accept it, and I think you're right, this may be his. My God, how did this happen? What are you doing back here in Harmony? The Bureau thought, with good reason, that Miss Crane was no longer in danger. I came up here to relieve Luis of his duties and take him back to Washington to file his final report. We were on our way to Quantico, and he suddenly had a feeling that you something wasn't right. You Sheridan here alone? No, we did not. She had a bodyguard, your brother Hank. Hank? Well, where is he? Well, that's out of question. She was alone when we found her. Let's try him on a cell phone. I just hope to God he's all right. I do such a thing. Especially to someone like Sheridan, you know? She was. She was so beautiful. She trusted me. She trusted me, and I killed her. I killed the woman I love. Shot her in cold blood. Luis. God, what have I done to him? Forget Luis. This is the gun that killed Sheridan. And I pulled the trigger. I killed Sheridan. Pull yourself together. You have to be in control when the FBI and the local police start asking questions. 
first you must get rid of the murder weapon. Your fingerprints are all over it. No! Now, all you need is a good alibi for why you went with Sheridan when a hitman took her life. If you stay cool, no one will suspect you are a murderer. My God, what have I done? God. I'm sorry things got out of control, Chad. Me too. I'm really, really sorry for all the trouble I caused you. Well, I hope you learned your lesson about spreading gossip and rumors, young lady. I didn't actually spread a rumor, Mom. I only told Whitney, and I trusted you not to say anything. Well, I didn't believe it for one second. I knew Chad wouldn't just take advantage of a girl and then leave her like that. He's not that kind of person. You didn't doubt me for a second, did you, Simone? No, Chad, never. Well, I appreciate that. At least you know what it means to be a true friend. I helped you, Kay. I got you out of trouble. Now you owe me. Mom, did you hear that? What? Uh, nothing. I guess I must have left my radio on in my room. Well, I'm gonna go make some coffee. I'll help. No one can hear me, Kay. Only you. Don't forget that my help just now came with a price. Your soul, to be exact. I'll let you know when I'm ready to collect. <laughs> Something strange going on at the Bennett house tonight, Timmy. Kay couldn't have got herself out of that jam on her own. She had help, powerful help. Hey, Cooper! The sulfur I smelled, the vibes I was getting. I wouldn't put anything past that old witch. Hiccup is so evil, she makes me look like one of the good guys. Now that's evil. Oh, if Kay's got herself mixed up with Hiccup, that poor girl has no idea what she's in for. Oh, Ooh. what's wrong, Princess? Feeling just came over me, Timmy. Because of Hecuba? No, no, something else. Something terrible has happened. Lies, betrayal. You aren't up to anything behind my back, are you, Timmy? Timmy to see this princess? <laughs> That's a good one, Tabby. Good one. Disbelief. Heartache. Murder. Someone's been murdered in Harmony Night. Who dealt with who? Uh, I'm not sure. But I'm getting vibes that the murderer is still close by. If anyone discovers who the murderer is, it will send shockwaves through this town like never before. Oh, this is big, Timmy. This is huge. Tonight's killing will affect everyone in harmony. No one's life will ever be the same. Pull yourself together. Sheridan is not worth your tears. She spurned your affections for those of your best friend, Louise. Sacrificing her life to save yours was the right choice. Your only choice. If you had refused us, your brother would have your dossier now. Armani's police chief would know all about your most unsavory past. Your life would be ruined. Now it can be wonderful. How? I killed the woman I loved. You'll be surprised how soon you forget Sheridan Crane. It's not too late. Please save me. Call an ambulance. Please don't... Don't let me die. I'll never forget killing Sheridan. Never.
It's gonna haunt me for the rest of my life. Dear Diary, tonight was my first real date with Ethan. We got a late start, but things went really well. Ethan said he's going to tell Luis about his dating. I hope Luis will be okay about it since he and Sheridan are close again. Ethan was on Luis's case about protecting Sheridan before, but now he feels indebted to Luis for saving Sheridan's life. I'm sure things will work out for all of us now that Luis and Ethan's attitudes have changed. Who knows? Maybe Ethan and Luis will even become friends. Yeah, Agent Freeman left to notify the Bureau. And, uh, listen, have all patrol units keep an eye out for my brother, Hank. He's still not answering his cell phone. Hey. hey what happened? Look, why is there an ambulance in the driveway? What's the police tape doing across Sheridan's cottage? Ethan, uh, let's go someplace where we can talk in private. Look, I'm not a child, Chief Bennett. And tell me what the hell's going on. Look, I will, but not here. Forget it. Ethan, you don't want to go in there. I'm so sorry, Louise. Isn't there something? No, there's nothing to do. Sheridan's in God's hands now. This is gonna pay. <laughs> 